Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Hey everyone, welcome back to DJ's Aviation. Now, I did mention a few weeks ago that every time I went to the football, the day after my voice would be absolutely done for. I'm trying my absolute best in this video, but please just know in the future, there's going to be some videos where my voice sounds like this. Pretty bad, I know, but at least there's a video for you all. A few days ago, we heard news of a Boeing 777 undergoing testing. During that testing, though, the type faced a cargo door explosion. At the end of the video, I actually discussed how Boeing would now be assessing whether this incident was isolated, and also, at the same time, determining whether or not it would adversely impact their current testing schedule for the Boeing 777X. Thankfully, it has now indeed been revealed that it will not. Boeing has commented saying that it will continue to investigate what the cause of the cargo door essentially blowing outward was, but they are indeed adamant that the overall testing of the type will not slow down. We've learned that the incident specifically though occurred as the test, which was involving decompression, literally right at the end of the 777's testing phase. Boeing actually estimated that 99% of the type had already been tested during that decompression test right before the incident took place. While coming as a shock, often during testing, aircraft manufacturers will indeed push their aircraft to the very limit to ensure that the type is ready for absolutely everything. And in this case, it was confirmed that the forces were considerably higher than what any aircraft would actually have to meet during a normal routine service, say from London to Los Angeles. It's important to remember that it doesn't mean something like this still couldn't eventually happen one day. Of course, we're always hoping that it doesn't, but it's much better to test these sorts of things so you know if the aircraft does get put in that sort of situation, it can actually withstand the pressure. Thanks to these tests, they're now obviously working on a fix that will ensure that something like this is prevented. We've been given a roughly two to three week estimate in regards to actually finding out the conclusion of the investigation. However, it is important to mention whether or not that actually come out publicly is still something we're going to have to wait on. Although I'd probably say it'll come out through a source, something like Reuters or Bloomberg, rather than Boeing actually physically coming out and explaining the issue. Boeing has indeed highlighted throughout the 777X testing period that safety remains their complete priority and they are still working towards the first flight in 2020, which at this point is only being delayed by the GE9X engines, which as discussed in an earlier video, are heading back for work. Today's video is a little shorter than my usual one, but hopefully you still did enjoy it. I did think it was important just to give an update to you all, not really dive into what I already covered in the other video. You can, of course, go back and watch that if you wish. I do apologize for my voice, but you're going to have to unfortunately get used to it as this is going to happen more and more. Thank you very much and see you all in the next one.